So I recently made a video talking about my personal Pokemon card collection. And in that video, I mentioned how I wanted to collect every single Chikorita card out there. Now, the reason for that is, is because Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon of all time. So if you want to see that video and you want to see every single card in this binder, you know, I'll link it in the description. But anyway, on my journey to finding every single Chikorita card out there, I came across one Chikorita card that is very, very rare, very, very expensive. And when I saw this card, I came to the realization that I'm probably never gonna own it and it's probably gonna be impossible for me to obtain. So let me talk about this card. So if you guys know back in the 90s when Pokemon cards were first released there were two types of Pokemon cards. There were Pokemon cards that were released by Wizards of the Coast which included you know like Base Set, Fossil, and Jungle and then there were Pokemon cards that were released by Tops. Now the Tops Pokemon cards were not playable Pokemon cards. They were more collectibles. These Pokemon cards from Tops are very iconic. They look very cool and it's something that people still collect today. So the Tops Pokemon cards, they didn't release that many of them. The original series that they released, you know, the original Tops series Pokemon cards were from like the Kanto Pokemon, the original 151. The Tops series one released like the first half of the Kanto Pokemon, or I think it was like the first 50. And then there was like the series two, and I think there was also like a series three. But pretty much Tops released the original 151 Pokemon and like this artwork in this format. So eventually Tops did release like the Johto Pokemon and eventually they released the Hoenn Pokemon but they stopped releasing Pokemon cards after the Hoenn Pokemon so there isn't any Sinnoh Tops Pokemon cards and I think the reason for that is is because they lost the license to make Pokemon cards at that point so yeah if you wanted to collect these cards you could only collect them up to the Hoenn era so when it came to the Johto and Hoenn Pokemon those cards were very very like limited release they didn't print that many like compared to the Kanto Pokemon like the Kanto Pokemon there is a bunch of cards out there of the Kanto Pokemon and you know you could easily collect all 151 Pokemon from the Tops series if you wanted to but when it comes to the Johto and Hoenn Pokemon if you look on eBay and Mercari those cards are very hard to find and you know they're not as easily bought you know because there wasn't that many cards of those series printed but I want to talk about the Johto series specifically so Tops they released the Johto series one and like I said it was a very limited print and there wasn't that many printed but in that series in that Johto series one there was a subset of cards called the hologram cards the hologram Pokemon cards and in that series the hologram cards were like the rarest cards to pull I think it was like 1 in 20 packs or 1 in 50 I don't know it was something crazy where like it was very hard to pull but pretty much it was like pulling like a full art card in modern Pokemon cards I think it was kind of like you would only get one hologram per box of Johto series I'm not sure I'm not even sure if it was guaranteed all I'm saying is that they were really hard to pull they were really rare and as you can imagine not that many people got those hologram cards so you already got two things going against it the tops Johto series one which had a very limited print and if you did manage to buy some packs from the Johto series one it was very hard to pull that hologram card all right so you can kind of see like how rare these cards are now when it comes to the hologram cards there are nine Pokemon that you can pull out of those nine Pokemon you know there's like Ferret Noctowl, Azumero. Those cards, if you try and buy them now, they go between $500 and $1,000, $1,000 plus. But of those nine cards, the OG starter Pokemon, Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Chikorita also came in the hologram cards. And if you want to buy those Pokemon in the hologram cards, they go for $1,000 plus, closer to $2,000 for one of those cards. Now, like I said, there was nine possible Pokemon that you could get as a hologram, but the OG starter Pokemon from the Johto region are the most expensive ones to buy if you were interested in buying them. So anyway, I tried looking for this Chikorita hologram card online. You know, I scoured Google. I looked through Mercari listings. I looked through eBay listings. I even looked through like eBay recently sold. And I realized that there isn't that many of these cards listed on eBay or Mercari. And when you do find them, they are very expensive cards. Now, I did manage to find Chikorita on eBay. There was only one Chikorita listed. It was a graded Chikorita and it was listed for six thousand dollars six thousand dollars man that is insane i'm not gonna pay six thousand dollars for a chikorita card and that is the only chikorita that is listed by itself that is crazy man that is insane so i did find another listing that listed all nine of these hologram cards in one listing so if you wanted to you can buy all nine of these cards together from like this ebay listing but if you want to buy them you have to dish out fifteen thousand dollars man fifteen thousand dollars if you want the complete set of nine hologram cards that ain't gonna happen man i'm gonna tell you
grave right now, man. I don't got that much money lying around. That's a lot of money to dish out for nine cards. For the Chikorita by itself, the Chikorita by itself, it is 6,000. And other than that, I have not seen Chikorita listed on eBay. Mercari, I looked through Google. I didn't find anything on Google about it being listed. I looked through like the eBay sold. There's nothing on there. And yeah, like I tried searching, man. There's nothing out there. And I, I just kind of like realized like I'm not going to be able to afford this card unless I get lucky. Unless I get lucky, somebody lists it for like very cheap on accident or unless they do have the Chikorita card and they list it for like damaged and you know they list it for like 500 bucks or something then maybe then if it's like a damaged card and it's like 500 bucks or something then yeah I'm willing to pay that much for it like 500 bucks that's pricey but for a card that's that rare and that limited and that hard to find I mean I don't think it's that bad man for me to complete my collection this Chikorita card collection I want it to be complete and that includes the tops cards I need the tops cards like currently there are Chikorita tops cards that I can easily buy like they're not that expensive but that hologram card man that hologram chikrita card is the one that's gonna be very hard to find and probably impossible man like i think i would have to like keep searching ebay like every single day until hopefully i come across one that's affordable but yeah that's the card hologram chikrita that's the card that i hope to eventually get one day but i don't think i'm gonna get it anytime soon and i'm probably never gonna get it unless i you know like i become rich and have like plenty of money to spend and just dish out six thousand dollars for one card which is crazy. The hologram Pokemon cards. The tops hologram Pokemon cards. What do you think about them? Do you think they're cool? I mean, when you look at them, they don't look that cool. They just look like a basic holographic card. But like I said, extremely rare, extremely hard to find. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of those hologram cards. And let me know if you collect the Pokemon tops series cards. You know, like, have you bought any of these tops cards? But yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys the next one, right? Peace out.